Hey guys, I just wanted to share this with you. I was putting away the gear from uh, last night's camp. I was doing the uh, tarp camp in the rain. And I got a helper here today. His name is Carlos. So anyways, I just laid this. This is, don't mind if it's a little bit dirty. This is, a, oddly enough, a white bag that I adopted for a laundry bag when I'm out in the woods for my socks and things. But anyways, on the ATV camp, I uh, showed you guys these that I bought. And this is how they came. And I got these in Amazon. I think there was like uh, 10 in a pack for... I don't know, 17, 18 bucks or whatever. So anyways, they worked really good up there on that camp. You can see the ground wasn't froze. This is just an old bag that I have stored them in. Because like I told you guys, these things are super heavy. But, problem is, is yesterday, when I went up into the frozen ground, I used four stakes. This is one of them. And this is the other three. Now, I'm not telling you not to buy these. I'm just letting you know what happened to me. Now, I couldn't use a mallet because, you know, the ground's froze. So I have that little hammer that I showed you guys. I don't think I have it out here, but I, I wish I would have to show you guys. The little hammer... And the vibration from the frozen ground, these just popped off, just like nothing. Now, on the plus side, I guess you got some really nice powder coated spikes, which I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm probably still going to use these for wintertime camping, even just like this, because at least I can use my claw and my hammer. But anyway, so I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up on this one. Just be careful. Like for fall camping and things like that, these are awesome. You, they're not going to bend. Like I use these ones in the frozen ground. The vibration knocked these wells clean off. But these are straight as can be. And they clean up really nice. I was just disassembling my cot. And the Amazon lady came. We'll take a look at this at a later date, guys. But this is just a little... I finally, finally, I'll admit it. If you guys watch the channel, you've never seen a carbon monoxide detector. It's not I didn't believe in one. It's just one of those things. I'd get all kinds of equipment. Anyways, I finally broke down and bought one. And it's really small. And despite what some of the channels say on the internet, it is more than 8 bucks for one of these things. This was about 50 bucks. But it tells you the temperature and the air quality and the, all of that kind of stuff. So, and it's USB. So, anyway, guys, this is the point of the video was just these little stakes. Just be careful. In my book, these were a fail. I don't know, though, if that's fair to say it's a full fail because I did still use them. I didn't even take them out of the ground. I could just hear these hit the ground. And it's not because I hit these with the hammer because... I have a habit of doing this with my hand, so I'd have had to whack it with my hand. So I don't know if it's true, if it's fair to say fail. But I just wanted you guys to know about this, like, you know, these will, these came off. So if you depend on these to tie, like, ropes or anything like that, fall of the year, winter time, probably not. So anyway, guys, we'll give this a little test on our next camp, see how she goes. And my new knife came in, and it's really nice, really sharp. I'll give you a little sneak peek. I put this jute on there because of the way it takes flame, and it came with a little stick here. I'm going to stick in a striker. But this is real leather. This is the nicest knife I've ever had. I mean, it's not like, you know, out of this world expensive or anything. It's just, for me, this is the nicest one I've ever had. 
and it's nice and thick here. It's a bush crafty type knife. So that's what I was in the market for. And we'll let you know down the road how she works out. So anyway, guys, just be aware if you order these tent steaks, I'm not telling you they're no good. But if you use them in frozen ground, maybe if I'd have used a piece of log, that wouldn't have happened, guys. So, you know, but I'm just kind of letting you know. You use your judgment if it's something, you know, you think. But I mean, I don't think I abused them. It's just I used them. <laughs> so until next time, guys, thanks a lot for your time. And keep on a camp with the Badger. And Carlos. Later, guys.